good morning. All right. I'm sitting on my on my floor. <laughs> um, on a, it's a, a seat cushion, but this is where I sit my bookshelf. So. <laughs> A different spot. I'm feeling chilly this morning. I think I saw like maybe 30 degrees outside Fahrenheit. So, I have not yet been outside. I've only opened the back door for Pip to go in and out a few times. I'm not very well centered for my project. There's greenery down here. <laughs> it's a leaf. There's a leaf that I'm stitching right now with this color green. <laughs> Hi, Pip. Eight sixteen, but I still feel like I'm waking up today. You know, some days it just takes you a really long time to like feel like a functional human being. I don't think I've hit functional yet. I'm a little bit. woke up early again. I don't wake with an alarm clock. Mostly because I don't need to. Um, okay. Oh, my puppy is wandering around. So if things move, <laughs> It's because she's hitting stuff with her tail or body as she's wandering around. Anyway, I don't, most of the time I don't use an alarm clock because I'm always awake early enough to like not need an alarm clock. And so I've been trying to like learn what my body is naturally doing and trying to work with it rather than feel frustrated. <laughs> it's not even that I'm fighting against it because I can't sleep in unless I'm sick and even then I'm probably not going to sleep in very much. Anyway, so most mornings lately I've been up by like 5 or 5.30. Which is early. Hi. Is it okay? I guess it just feels early because I'm not really going to sleep. 
early enough to get enough sleep for waking up at five in the morning. That, I guess, is the problem. So what do we think? Do we think that we're gonna finish this today? Like, I definitely feel that finish pull, so I'm really hoping that that section will finish today. Because it's always fun to finish a section. I think that's what keeps me going so much on well it's one of the reasons there's a lot of reasons why this does um okay so i know there's people watching but i haven't seen a comment come through i'm just wanting to make sure that everything is set up if someone can pop literally anything in the well not anything i mean if it's if it's an inappropriate anything it'll stay off it but um, <laughs> I just want to make sure it's working. <laughs> I don't mind just talking, and um, I'm fine with that. I just want to make sure that it works. I didn't change anything from last night's live stream, so... Well, except my, like, entire location. Last night I was sitting in... Like, my project is still out on my camp. Yay! Okay. Miss Rufus, thank you for popping a comment in. <laughs> I just like to know that it's all working. Um, rather than, like, people be saying something and me completely missing it. <laughs> you need to be okay. Settle down. Afternoon in the UK. But it's like barely afternoon there, right? So here I am talking about like not being functional and you're like, my day's half over. <laughs> this is like when I stitch my bookshelf though is It's among one of the first things I do in the morning. Puppy just laid down. <laughs> she laid down and that's good. This green just seems kind of random. I'm like, there was this green right here and nothing that it attached to, and the same thing down here is it looks like it's just green with no, like it's not like this over here that is, a it's kind of a, yeah, it's a vine. Not long woken up though, so you're okay. <laughs> So we can be semi-functional as well. Hi! I don't know how to pronounce your name at all. <laughs> uh, but hi. <laughs> yeah. This is um, the third shelf of the picture that you can see, right there. A 
I stitch on it every day, except when I'm traveling because it's um, huge. And I'll scroll wrong. <laughs> Boor? Okay, is it like, let's see, what, what ooh sound? Would I say girly or girly? Or something completely different. <laughs> I've learned how to say the other people's names. <laughs> I try. I do my very best. In Norway, is it even like daylight for you at this time? Like, you guys are dark <laughs> in the winter. Girly. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I'll try not to be like, girly. <laughs> I can do it. Girly. Uh, my, my maiden name that is, is Samoan, and so I'm very used to either, like, trying to get people to pronounce it when they are trying to learn how to say it, and then pretty much just tell them, like, it's okay. <laughs> Three hours of daylight. I, uh, no. <laughs> There's like a part of me that kind of wants to experience it, but like just one 24 hour period of experiencing it. Like that's it. I don't want to, <laughs> like I'm, I'm good. I think right now I'm, well, I guess I can look it up. It's like 9 hours of daylight, probably closer to 10 hours. Nine hours and 42 minutes right now. Hey, energy lady. Good morning to you. Well, afternoon. Good morning from me. How, how does that work? Yeah. So, nine hours and 42 minutes of daylight currently. But days are getting longer again, right? This is something that's kind of crazy, is that for me, where I live, like... Every day is like a two to three minute difference. Maybe it's a three to four minute difference. I can't remember. It's, it's just a little bit different from day to day, whether it's getting longer or shorter. But anybody who lives like further north, like their day to day swings seem like it would be not day to day, but Since you're going from like so few daylight hours to like a ton of daylight hours, then the difference is going to be much more significant than the more gradual feeling that I get. That I think would be interesting um, because I've never lived in a place like that. I've always lived where it's been like... I'm trying to think. Ohio would be maybe like a minute, so maybe five minutes a day. <laughs> it's not that far different from Virginia. But it's different enough that they have like, in the winter they have like 20 more minutes of sun, of darkness, and in the summer they've got like 20 more minutes of sunlight. I find stuff like that interesting. Because it affects how, it, or in my head it affects how you live. 
and or how do you adapt to it? You've never done a full coverage, but you want to learn someday. If you have any questions, um, I'm happy to answer them, honestly. Um, yeah, in the summertime, someday you'd have that year. The light doesn't bother you, but the cold, see? I don't like the cold either, <laughs> but I think I would rather like have daylight and be cold than have like no light and be warm. And having and and having it be dark and cold that just sounds like a challenge. <laughs> it sounds like a challenge. But I see pictures from places like Norway or Alaska or anywhere like that. And I'm like, it's stunning. Like your scenery or everything, it's beautiful. It's just, um, I can look at the pictures and I don't have to feel the coldness. <laughs> like, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm okay. Where did I put my scissors? They're not. Here they are, they just fell off. <laughs> it is challenging, I know. But in, is it like, so I'm just starting to get into wool clothing. Um, I have three. <laughs> I have a dress, a pair of leggings, and like a sweater. Um, and I've really been liking it, and I'm about to get some more, some more. Um, but like, is it easier to get some of that in Norway, or is it harder? It seems like in the Scandinavian countries, um, where you deal with a lot of cold, that wool is is just much more commonplace than the fast fashion that America kind of thrives on. Like maybe I need to travel and buy clothes. All, all the like natural fibers and like wool and stuff. Maybe that's how I need to go about getting the wool clothing. We do have some options here. Just It just doesn't seem like it's very many options. Which is okay. There's some really nice stuff still. And I'm okay with the investment like that. It's not that. Oh, you're a knit designer. It's really a lot for wool. Forty kilograms of wool last year. Wow. So what kind of knit things do you design? And do you do you sell your patterns? Uh, I was 
Making a bad bedtime decision last night and scrolling on Pinterest. I actually really try not to do mm, things like that when I'm trying to go to bed. <laughs> Even though my phone like has a blue filter on it at night. But um But I made that choice. I was on Pinterest and it was showing me like these knit tops. Mm, some crochet, but mostly knit. And um, and I just kept seeing, I'm like, oh, I want to try that. Oh, I want to try that. I've never knit any clothing besides socks, and even that I'm still struggling with. But um, It's definitely something that I want to try more. Or get more into, I should say. I crochet more easily than I knit. But I like to do both. Like, cross-stitch is my first love, but the other fibers, like crocheting and knitting, my second love. <laughs> I guess second loves, because there's two of them. is like the most block stitching I get is this whole section right here <laughs> it looks tiny um, but this is 28 count fabric so that's why it looks tiny that's all black so it's kind of you don't get too much block stitching in a piece like this in this piece anyway There's too many little details. Like this, this right here, do you see that? That is from from this point where it meets the shelf to the top point of it is 13 stitches high. Like I can't even imagine what that looks like in the regular version of this chart. Like how, it's got, it, what, like two stitches high? Like how could you even have that <laughs> as as an object <laughs> in, in the regular size? Uh, okay, clothes like sweaters, cardigan, polos, and this stuff. Hope to translate things to English one day. Oh, that's fun. Do you sell them? Do you have like a website or Etsy or like through Ravelry like I guess if they're not in English I can't do anything <laughs> I just want to look at your pictures I want to see them <laughs> that's really that's really what I want to do um, hold on I'm gonna adjust slightly there we go visually um, I mean, your language is beautiful. I just don't understand it. Just finishing your coffee and then we'll join in stitching, doing deco, dec uh, deco, gecko rouge of Beetlejuice. 268,000 total stitches and 10% done. 10% is fantastic. I think I've seen Beetlejuice. Um... Because I remember somebody else bringing it up. Beetlejuice Gecko Rouge. I've, um, I have never done a Gecko Rouge. Oh, there's. Is it this, like, green-haired picture? <laughs> is that is that what we're doing? You're doing. No. The royal we, and that's definitely you. Your third turning stitcher. I love to stitch to her. 
Um, is 25 count the most used fabric? I would not... I'm not sure that it is the most used fabric because it really depends on the person who, like, your eyes and, um, like, what count you like and if you like stitching with one thread or two threads or tent stitch or full cross, like, 25 count is what, um, like, if you were to look at this company, Heaven and Earth Design, you'll see their site says 25 count two threads um full cross and then their floss list um skein calculator is based on that but i don't like 25 count two strands full cross <laughs> in ravelry okay I'm gonna look you up. Ravel me. I just let me make sure I write this. F J E. Fiel. Do we say this? Fiel. Is that how we say it? Fiel Rosa. The one on the blue side. <laughs> are you sure? Maybe you are stitching on 258 count and that's why you need coffee. <laughs> oh. But yeah, light stitches is crazy on light fabric. Um... So, okay, so 36 count samplers, but you're probably stitching over two threads, right? Or are you stitching over one thread? Usually people stitch samplers over two threads, which would be the equivalent of 18 count. Ada. A lot of people do stitch on the 18 count. Um, feels like it sometimes. <laughs> I love the 20. 28 count is my favorite. That's what this one is. This is 28 count. Um, I'm using two strands, but I'm not doing a full cross. I'm just doing tense stitching. You want to see 258 count? 258 count is like clothing fabric, right? <laughs> if you were to try to stitch on that. <laughs> oh. So if you wanted something similar to what you're used to, girly, you could look at 18 count. Um, and then you can still use like two strands. Your coverage would be the same as what you're used to seeing on a 36 count. Um, if you think, though, that you can see a smaller count, um, I encourage you to try that because it full coverage pieces can be quite large. And so if you can stitch on a smaller count, like, um, well, like, like this is 28 count, you could stitch uh, one thread full cross or two threads half cross. So you're going to stitch all of the white. <laughs> it's a challenge, but, you know, sometimes you do what you have to do to get the effect <laughs> that you want. <laughs> it's like this piece, I'm going to put all the work into it because I love it enough to do that. Just pulled my needle out of my fabric, not my fabric, off my thread. My heat is running right now. And, uh, I want <laughs> it's, oh, that's good. It's warm. It's warming up. You're doing one over one full cross. 
Not everybody likes tent stitch, so it's fine. I did make a video that was all about like tent stitch so that people who were interested in learning more about it could see if it was would be a good fit for them. But it's not. I lost my 36 to 32. You didn't know 32. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I would try um you could stitch even on like a 36 count but just stitch it one thread over one um fabric thread so if you did a one over one on 36 count um or 32 count yeah i'd probably do one over one on that one A uh, tent stitch is basically a half cross. Um, there's different ways in which you can stitch it. So instead of a, a full, here I can do it this way. Instead of a full cross like that, it's just one leg of it. And it, it could either go this way or this way, depending on your preference. Um, but yeah, uh, somewhere on my channel, you'll find a video about tent stitching and I cover um, the different methods, the pros and cons of them, and I show them so that you can see the difference. I also show a lot of my projects that, my scissors keep falling off of my leg here. Like, I'm not wiggling that much. Um, but I do show, I show, like, my different projects so that you can see not just one, but some different options. When you have a block size, go to press and pull it down and it's all one color. Yes. <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm going so fast. And then you hit confetti again and you're like, oh, never mind. I'm not going fast at all. Uh, all of that. Turned out what lovely. I would say the biggest thing to make sure that you do if you're looking at full coverage um, is to pick a pattern that you really like because it takes time to finish them no matter how small that thing is. Like, oops, you're gonna Make, make sure that you're really happy with it and that you look at the mock-ups if possible or even look up people's actual stitching. Yay! I'm glad that you could come in and that we could chat. Happy New Year's to you. so happy I can stitch in just one color for more than five stitches. That doesn't often happen at the end of these sections. It usually feels that 
like I'm changing colors constantly towards the end. My Christmas cup, one of them. I like this sleigh. This is breakfast today. It is a protein shake smoothie, I guess. Like, I wasn't ready for actual food earlier. I'm still not ready for actual food. By the time I finish stitching on this piece, I will be, but not yet. I'm excited. It's the end of the first week of the year, and I have a weekly goal of 10 hours outside, and I have less than two hours left, so, and I can do that today. I'm excited. And then I will put like my reward system in place and, and, and give myself my reward for meeting my goal. I'm excited. Good morning, Sonia. How are you today? Lotus Pond. Have I seen Lotus Pond? I'm going to look up if I've seen it. Hey, it's 33 degrees now, so it's above freezing. That's nice. Lotus Pond. There's only one Lotus Pond. Oh, that's pretty. With the koi fish. That's pretty. Hi James, how are you? What fancy lady are you stitching on right now? I've been itching to get back to a fancy lady, but it is not in the plans right now. Some of those I stitched. We can work them. <laughs> I 
I do enjoy every project I have started. I want to stitch on all of them, and I want to stitch on all the ones that I want to stitch on that I haven't started yet. But I like to see things making progress, so I'm really trying to slowly get that cap done. You have your stitching out, yay! What are you going to work on, Sonia? Oh. Um. Yeah. I'm. Okay, so I've. I'm 127 stitches in. One, two, three. My daily stitch count might finish this section or it might get really, really close. It might get so close that I just finish it out because <laughs> because it's the call of the finish. I will feel super accomplished if I do that. I have 23 whipped now. I have a count if my phone wants to turn on. Twenty-three. Yep. I have twenty-three and I'm starting a fourth one. Fourth one, a twenty fourth today. No fancy lady stitching this weekend. Oh, you got full coverage stitching right now. I watched your um, lip parade, or the first part of it. Um, Black Phoenix, you're trying to finish that one, right? It seems so close, like you've made so much progress on that piece. She's fancy in her own way. Oh, nice. Most of the shelf is one color. Not all of it, but most of it. I like it. There's Mohu cross stitch. It's a blue dragon. Nice. I don't have any dragon pieces, and I feel like this needs to change because I really like dragons. I 
I don't need it to change soon, though. <laughs> no. I'm trying not to make plans to start more things. So, you know how, um, hey, Michelle, good morning. I was, um, I was talking with somebody the other day who's approaching their 40th birthday and she said she did not want to do 40 new starts and so she's doing something different. And I was thinking about how like I would not want to start 40 new starts either, but what would be something fun instead? And I was like, you know what would be fun? Um, and I have a few years before I'm at 40, so we'll see if I remember this idea in four years. Because um, I'm 35. I turned 36 this year. Um, anyway, she... No, not her. My idea is that I think it'd be fun to try to aim, to try to get this sounds insane like can I do 40 finishes in a year like they would have to be smaller things but by the time I'm 40 I'd be done with this project and and maybe there'd be I don't know it it could be fun a very fun challenge. <laughs> A lot harder than starting 40 things. <laughs> Why do I come up with insane ideas? You're on a full coverage marathon starting today until next week. Nice. Good morning. This is the super size max color, yes. This is the third shelf that you can see. I guess it's down here for you. I know it's almost to finish a week. Like when I think about it, like it it took me about a week to do the Mill Hill Santa that I did. But that wasn't the only thing I was stitching on. So I feel like if I really wanted to do that and applied myself appropriately, I could do stuff like that. Like 40 Mill Hills or something like that. Like that's the size that I feel like it would have to be to make sure that I did it. <laughs> that emoji. <laughs> That's funny. I'm clearly not afraid of crazy things. Like, I'm stitching this... This... So, you know what I need to put on my calendar is when the hundredth day of the year is for my hundred day thing. I did that last year and so many people wanted to do it again or wanted me to do it again and to actually tell people beforehand. Would it be the year of gifting that sure you and Walt 40 across the sea and you know, unless they are on Earth? Um, maybe. I don't know. I have four years to decide, right? <laughs> <laughs> maybe the alphabet, the months, the numbers. 
see, there's options, right? You guys are only encouraging me in this idea. I'm not sure if... <laughs> we'll see how crazy that is. Okay. Um... Hold on. When is the 100th the day of the year? I think it's in May. Oh, April. That's what I meant. Yes. Yes. April. Makes sense. Good morning, Beck. Yesterday, a daughter was on dog. Terry the Terrapin, he lives at a nearby garden center. I had a driver to see him. <laughs> Aw, your daughter's so cute. <laughs> okay, so it's a Monday. I can make that work. I can, Monday, April 10th. Um, it's the 100th day of the year. That's better than Sunday. We'll be real. I need to pick a color scheme. I don't know. Sounds good. Oh, I forgot to, um, I forgot to say what it was. 100. There we go. In 93 days, it'll be the 100th day. And what I like to do on the 100th day is um, I like to stitch like, I, I like to see how many projects I can get 100 stitches into. I think that in 2022, I think I got through like six or seven projects, but it was also like a very busy day. So I ended up not having enough time. It wasn't enough time. Good morning, Nicole. How are you? What time is it where I live? It is 9.07 a.m. where I live. I am in Virginia. My stitch count goal is 570. And whatever thread I'm on when I hit 570, I finish it out and then call it good. Unless I wasn't paying attention to the stitch count, sometimes that happens. Doesn't happen super often, but it definitely happens. There's nothing to get from I find that like um, this time frame works well for some people 
but the most popular ones seems to be evenings like my evening uh april 10th is easter monday I'm not traveling for Easter. <laughs> so, uh, and my daughter's homeschooled, so I could just tell her she's not. Maybe I can motivate it to get her to work on her cross-stitch piece. And we can call it homeschooling that day. I wasn't looking at my calendar to see when Easter is, so. But it's the 100th day of the year, so. <laughs> Can't negotiate with that. <laughs> I think um, April, there's a 24 hours of cross-stitch in April, too. Again, I don't have those ones on my calendar, so. But I should. April 21st. Okay, so it's later in the month. Good. Good, good, good. Um, I'm one hour. You're in Texas. Well, that's so... That's about when I started. Your, your time now. 9 a.m. Uh, 8 a.m. <laughs> is, is about when I started stitching. Oh, what does this say? 57 minutes now? Later today, I will, well, I'll do my daily 30 piece, but then I'm going to be working on a new pattern. And I'm excited for how cute and adorable this is gonna be, so. feels like a small piece. It's got like 30,000 stitches and I'm like, it's small. I'm like, that's going to take no time at all. And that's going to become my Saturday piece. I don't really know how long it will take me, but I guess we'll see how much time I put into it today and then and then I'll kind of be able to gauge how long I think it'll take me. Dun, 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 dun. To be in a cute and be heard. Trying to harmonize with birds. Whether it's your birthday or your dying day, it's a celebration day. Rejoice, use your voice. Can't remember the next lyric. Well, you are. You don't need a vacation. When there's nothing to escape from singing, la 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 la
<laughs> I'm like, I need to finish this. <laughs> like, I'm so focused on this. Um, because I want to finish this section. It's exciting. Maybe what I should do is Saturdays can be like my like designer friend patterns. I own three like from people I've met through the community. I mean I haven't met any of them in person. Um, but I consider them like people that I conversed with before they started um, sewing charts. I have three of them and I haven't started any of them. So maybe Saturdays will be like my, I work through them. So I'll, I'll start with this rabbit one or technically it's a hair and then I will pick one of the other two maybe that's what I'll do it's a long-term plan because if you're only working on something once a week you don't get very far on it but you do make progress just finished your daily temperature chart and now oh now for some folk comfort stitching. Yay. I am not doing a temperature chart this year. But there are some great ones. I've been seeing a lot of people are stitching the magic potions. Which is looking so fun. I've been in the mood to crochet a blanket, and I have yarn on the way, but I don't know when it will arrive. It's not trackable. It might arrive today, or maybe early next week. That would be on track for how often, or how long it takes to get from this particular company that I ordered from. Another diagonal done. One, two, three. Four diagonals left in this little bitty corner. Can we do it? <laughs> so last year I was really bad about walking my puppies. I don't know, I just was. But this year, you know, the first six days of the year, I've done really well walking them. Um, 
but that's what she's waiting for. <laughs> she's like, is it time yet? Like, are we going? <laughs> she's probably missing her, her other, my other dog, who is with Kaylin at her dad's house. But she is staring expectantly at me right now. Like, is it walk? Is it the walk time? Yoshi is cute. Always. Yoshi is always cute. To communicate away. Oh, maybe instead of walking the neighborhood, maybe we'll go to the battleground and do like the long mile, the three mile hike. That would get me really close, if not meet my outside time goal. I'm determined to like meet the goal on the first week. Like if nothing else, like even if I fail the whole rest of the year, like I'm so determined to meet it on week one. Like I can't fail right off the bat. <laughs> I can't do that. I need it. I need to, I need to meet it. I need to know that it's possible and it's not a, just possible but it hasn't even felt hard yet like it's felt very doable which is good it feels like it can be sustainable and we could all use sustainable can't we Um, no, that one. My daughter started stitching, um, I mean, it, she started it in 2021 and hardly touched it in 2022. Um, but it's one of the Randall Spangler ones, and I'm like, I'm about to take it and work on it for you. <laughs> it's a little one. It's like 89,000 stitches. But it's just sitting there languishing, and it makes me sad. <laughs> And I think she'd be okay if I did stitch on it. I don't think she'd... I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if I can get her back into it, she'll want to work on it more. This week we worked on... Like, she had wanted to make pillowcases. Like decorative pillowcases and she got stalled out on it um so this week we were working on like making those pillowcases there's one more she had material for three 
and we've done two of the three. very creative person so which which could actually be something against cross stitch because you're following a pattern rather than coming up with your own thing and she likes coming up with her own thing she likes being inspired and then doing what she sees in her head have a lot harder time like seeing stuff in my head and then creatively anyway I can do it in in rooms sort of I guess like wall colors and stuff designing would be a challenge for me designing like patterns or charts or something like that It doesn't mean it's impossible. Okay. This thread feels like it's going on forever. Like, was it that long of a thread to start with? I just feel like I've been stitching with it for a long time. Virginia is so pretty, I've never been here. You're gonna try to convince your husband to take you under. <laughs> I think, I think every place has its beauty, just different beauty. I did hear of a uh, state park that I, I can't remember its name, but Highbridge maybe, but the pictures of it show um, like the, I don't, I guess I assume that they have like forest ground paths as well but it's like a what the pictures are is that it's a path built above the canopy or at canopy level I don't know it's like it's up so that you can see out over the trees so I guess that's above the canopy I've not been there obviously or I'd be able to tell you more about it but I think that would be a really cool trip to take. I don't even know how far from me. It's probably like two to three hours from me. It's probably not close.
Oh, yes, that's right. I don't have a lot of state parks that are near me. I think the closest one is like 45 minutes away. They did make something called the Capitol Trail or something, but it's it's a paved trail, mostly f meant for bikers that are going from like well, not going necessarily, but the path is like from Richmond to Williamsburg. It might even be past Williamsburg um, with lots of like entry points so that you can bike a long distance on it. Um, but it mostly follows... Well, it follows the river, but also the road. I've only been on a small portion of that one. It's not quite in nature enough for me to want to go very often. You know, like it's a little too man-made and separate still got that kind of a feel. Let's go that way. I'd love to go to more national parks, too. I haven't... It's been a while since I've been on one. Two, two, one, on one. Don't know why I said on one. Does it rain a lot? Um, not. I mean, it rains, but not like tons and tons. I don't think it's very dry, though. So. I guess it rains plenty. It does get humid here. So lots of moisture in the air and stuff. I, one of my favorite things is that from March t until September, we, there is some kind of a flowering tree um, for all of those months. I love it so much. So March is only two months away. I like it. Hi, Z. Good morning. The stitching is going well. My aim is to finish this section so that this scene is finished. It's the pull of the finish. Uh, Z, I was looking more at Twitch last night after we were talking. I came across a streamer. Anyway, I was watching a stream for a few minutes and... 
something happened that led me to find out about channel points. And so I was kind of reading about channel points and what those are. Basically, Twitch sounds like a very fun platform. Like, you have so much customization on some of those fun aspects. Here you've got some, but it doesn't seem like it's as much as what you can get over there. So that's definitely a pro in favor of Twitch. Also, we talked last night about monetization, and so I, I did look that up a little bit. Well, looking up channel points led me to looking up about their monetization, um, whatever they call it, the affiliate program, and their barrier is lower than YouTube. But I, it, see, it does seem like at first they take maybe a bigger cut than you get with YouTube, but at the same time, does it really matter? Because you can get started a lot earlier. So I think that's a benefit to Twitch as well is it for like I don't know just to be clear like it's not like that's not my motivation at all but I think that how platforms treat their creators tells you something about how they are as a platform And if you are going to create things, like you're making money for them, so why shouldn't you get a little cut as well? Like that's kind of, that's kind of how I'm seeing it. You like you watch Twitch? What what is it that you really like about it? Um, as a like as a viewer, like are there things that you really like or things that you find are annoying? Maybe not annoying is the right word. Like, I can see how some people wouldn't, um, <laughs> he's just happy that I, <laughs> I found some pros. It's not that I didn't have pros for Twitch earlier. It's just that I was like, but I can also do that on YouTube. So <laughs> I can see that some people don't care for like that that fun aspect um that you can get on twitch but twitch is like a it started as a gaming streaming service like 
it it's almost like gamifying your like the interactions that we're having like right now um which i can see fitting some people and not fitting other people Can you stop bumping everybody, please? You're, you're bumping. Yes, you are. Hi. Come here, come say hi to everybody. Come here. Come here, come on. She's like, I don't know how to do this. There you go, come on. She goes. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Oh, and North Carolina's not far because it's kind of a straight shot south from where I live. Come up here. You're like too short for everyone to see you. Can you put your pot? No. <laughs> She's just going to lay down now. <laughs> Um, now she's going to want me to pet her, and if I'm petting her, it means I can't sit. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yes, you're very sweet. And I know you want to go outside. You watch a lot of gaming on it. I mean, that's kind of the majority that's there, but... Hey! Stop bumping! Please come over here. Come on. Thank you. I knew. You'll be okay. I live right near Richmond, so it does depend on where in Virginia and where in North Carolina. I like North Carolina. I've looked into living there. Your company uses Twitch, but you're a video game company. Yeah, um, I mean, that's mostly what Twitch has been, but it's nice that the other communities are growing. Like, they have a category that's makers and makers and creators, is that what it's, it's called? I like it. Um, this, okay, Brittany, when you're asking what size, are you asking how big the piece is as a whole or what count fabric this is? I just want to make sure I answer your question for what information you're actually looking for. <laughs> Pip is very sweet. She, she really is. 
is just ready for us to go on a walk. Okay, this piece is, so you can see the picture on the screen, right here. Um, I am stitching the super size max color version. So it is like three feet wide and like two and a half feet tall. It's 28 count. I love the Animal Kingdom one. It might be my third favorite, I'm not sure. It's hard um, to see the detail if you're not on Super Size Max Color. That's which some people are completely fine with. I wasn't going to be fine with it. I wanted all the detail. Like I was saying earlier, this this is a little kitty. It's like a cat who's like laying this way so you can't really see it's in the shadows, but this is its face, like ears and 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 its little nose right there. Like that's a kitty face. It is 13 stitches high. And and this is super size max color. Like, is it two stitches high on a regular? It's crazy. You're going to get some breakfast and hopefully you can stitch with your sore arm for me. Oh. Hopefully. Maybe, maybe stitching with your sore arm will help it loosen up. You need to check out Twitch then. Well, I have been checking it out. And I think that I need to give it a try, like, to see what it's like from, like, the creator side of it. To really understand what the options are there. Um, because I think it's fun from the viewer side, I've only interacted on one stream. I've just lurked otherwise, um, but I've popped in kind of to several just to Oh gosh, see, Pip, darling. Cameras now not available because she sent it. We'll be right back. Yeah, we can do it this way while I fix this. See, I'm sitting in front of a window. Um I have three windows. One, two, three. Like, she has access to, like, one and a half windows very easily, but she keeps going. No. Hey. We're done. We're done with this. Come over here. Thank you. There we go. The problem is, I won't be able to see if this is in the right spot until I switch it back. It's kind of in the right spot. Close enough. Puppies. <laughs> Hopefully your errands go smoothly, Z. Good 
making a big mistake and I don't know what to do with the first piece of shit that I bought in Ikea, but... Okay. Did you come back? Do you have your food? Is that... Tell us. We can advise. <laughs> my hands are freezing, but the rest of my body is warm. You can also, if, are you on Instagram? You can send me pictures if that would help at all. There we go. Now I'm too cold. <laughs> I can't. I'm not winning. I'm not winning in this. Hi. Do you need me to let you out of the room? Okay, I'm going to go let her out of the room. So she feels like she's doing something. I don't know. Oh. Stand up. Time. Stretch break. Okay. <laughs> um, I got something that's not as heavy, not as warm as the sweatshirt. I don't feel like I regulate my body temperature very much. You watched a guy on Twitch who's mostly a gamer but does a full coverage cautious of trivia year and then clicks. I've had an idea a lot like that like having a project that you're giving away in that kind of a um, raffle kind of a way I love that you found somebody who does that channel points um, that seems like a great use of the channel points too Okay, you bought it super size, max color, now you don't want to do it because it's super size and you wish a regular size max color. So really, you're just trying to decide, okay, hold on, I want to see Minerva's melody real quick. Is there a regular size max color of that chart already is what I'm curious.
A Josephine wall? Is that what it is? No, there's a mini and a super size and a super size mix color. With all the wisteria, I love this one. Look at that gorgeous harp. That is so pretty. I can imagine the suit. Oh, and there's like the peacock head, the boat figurehead. Is a peacock. That's amazing. That's gorgeous. So, have you started it already? Um, it's kind of a pain to have to order, like, because you'd have to order a regular size max color and then buy the chart. Not a big fan of that business practice, but um, if you haven't, why, well, even if you have started it, I guess it doesn't really matter. Super size is a big commitment, so if you don't think that you'd be happy stitching it, but you still really want to do the pattern, you're probably going to want to get what you're going to be happy with. Well, the good thing about having that much fabric is that you can use the fabric for other charts. Like, you can use a big piece on smaller charts very easily, so your fabric isn't wasted. Um, your threads will also likely be the same, also, like, or very similar. So most of those threads will probably still get used in the regular size. There might be some differences, but not a lot. Um, so that's that's one option, is I, I feel like there will be a lot of, um, you can, you can still use the fabric, and then you'd have extra fabric for other charts, um, or you can also resell Um, you could, you could see if anybody else is interested in the Super Size Max color. They would have to buy their own chart, but you could sell your fabric and threads to them, and then you'd be able to buy what you need for the regular size Max color. Like, so you have, you have, you have some options there, I think. Um, okay, Ms. Rufus. I need rating another streamer explained because I saw that term and I don't understand what it is yet. They take all their viewers with them and can introduce the viewer to new creators. That's really interesting i like that it's harder to do that here that's for certain um like you're reliant on on like shout outs and it's very different i have a fan okay
so what you can also do is you could request the max color version or you can request a color expansion if you don't want as many colors as a max color on a regular chart because like 200 plus colors on a regular chart is a lot of confetti and ninja stitches but a color expansion would be less than that but still give you detail something you could consider depending on how much of the um, detail you're going to want. Okay, you're 33 years old and you're like, when are you gonna finish it? I'm 35. I will turn 36 next month and this will be done next year when I am 37. <laughs> I can do math. I'll be 37 when this is finished. Um, for me, like this is my daily piece. Like I will stitch on it for 570. 600 is kind of my like benchmark. Um, for a day. And now I'm down to like 570. Um, but it's an invest. It is a time investment, but you could do it if, you really wanted to but if you don't really want to there's no problem with that like you've got options Brittany's interested in buying your stuff <laughs> contact contact each other um kristen hi kristen twitch is great for makers and crafters <sighs> v's not even here to hear you guys talk about it now because she's been convincing me um i think i'm going to go try it out um maybe i will do that later today when i start my new project how's that like new project new streaming service <laughs> kind of like new year new start but not at all Creator can pick someone who is streaming at the time and everyone goes to that stream and viewers can and stay watching it later. I see, so it's kind of like passing off a live stream, kind of. That's fun. That is fun. Over 200 pens I need put in Bobbin so he not to want to start it, you're crazy. <laughs> You're in good company for crazy here. <laughs> were, were you here when I was sharing my like 40 finishes in a year idea? <laughs> we can we can talk crazy here and it's okay. <laughs> we're, it's a safe, it's a safe place. Okay, so, those of you on Twitch, find me so that I can know who you are. Um, do you get notified when somebody follows you? I, 
I don't even know Twitch enough to know if that's a thing. Like, because literally my notifications have this because I've not been on it enough to know anything. It says alerts about you and the broadcasters you follow. I know nothing. Okay, but you can find me. It looks like this, the brown eyed stitcher. And like, send me a message or something. No content available at this time. We're gonna change that. How's that? I put um, my bookshelf as the banner, the banner. My puppy's upset that I didn't go out of the room with her. <laughs> She's at my door whining at me. <laughs> like, puppy, I've got another 200 stitches before I can be done. You gotta wait. Good morning, Paula. You just woke up, it's 8 a.m. So you are in, you're two hours behind me. I'm at 364 stitches out of 570. Arizona. Are you in the part of Arizona that gets snow sometimes, or are you in the part of Arizona that's, like, hot all the time? <laughs> I will still be young when I finish this. <laughs> I am dedicated in certain respects to certain things. When I finish this bookshelf, I'm going to start, or if I haven't started already, I'm going to um, oh my gosh, <laughs> if I haven't started, I will start it, and if I have already started it, I will focus on it more. Um, it will go on these, this scroll rod. The, um, Tilt and Craft Middle Earth map because that's got a stitch count very similar to this piece, so. Hi, Sophia! From Portugal. Hello! Hi, Ima! Good morning. Afternoon. Nighttime. Whatever it is for you. Hello! How are you today? I'm really enjoying that I have nothing scheduled today. Which is usually Fridays and Saturdays for me. I don't do a lot of scheduling because that's like Monday through Thursday while my daughter's here. Another diagonal finished. Just three little baby diagonals. <laughs> Your new start will be a Bella Fina. Maria! I, Maria McEwing. I love her. She's on my wish list. Still working on the love vid and a couple of projects. Nice. 
It is three. Okay. Busy hands. Brittany says that it's Brittany with an I. She says it. So look, look a couple hands up. Brittany and Aaron Miller. So if you look up a couple messages, you should see her. You're soon going to start your bookshelf. Any advice? Take it one stitch at a time. <laughs> Have fun. You're not finding me on... I found Z, so I know I'm there. I, Suki is not involved at all. It's just the brown eyed stitcher. I know that. Is there something I'm supposed to do? Is it still, it's, it's still active because I've been using it to watch other people. So at least I assume it's active. I'm not like, I've not created anything. How am I listed? I don't know these things, you guys, since, but you can't find me. So this is important for me to know. I do remember seeing somewhere manage social links that people can search, but I haven't done that yet. Um, Y'all, obviously I don't know what I'm doing. Switch to creator mode. Whoa, that's different. I don't know. <laughs> how do I know how I'm listed? Help me, guys. <laughs> Good morning, Selena. <laughs> um, Sophia, if you have any, like, specific questions or things that you're concerned about with your bookshelf, like, I'm happy to answer questions, but... Um, really like just remembering it's one stitch at a time like any other project is great maybe how do i find you guys who who are you on twitch and maybe i can find you that way i'm gonna figure this out See, that Twitch doesn't work like an old TV where you can smack the side of it and knock it into submission. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> and if you, you, like, throw your phone across the room, like, that's not going to help. <laughs> I've never really used Twitch very much until like the last 
week, like this whole last week, I've started looking into it more. But that's that's not very long. I'm like looking through here. My channel? No, that doesn't. Hey, look, I says one follower. Drops? What are drops? Store in... Oh, okay, that doesn't pertain to me at this moment. Okay, under settings. It says my email's verified. Energy lady found me. <sighs> it's the brown eyed stitcher with like no lines or anything, just like one run on sentence. Yeah, like that. I am on Facebook. I just don't post very much on Facebook. So you're welcome to friend me anywhere. <laughs> There's reasons I don't do much on Facebook. <laughs> I, yes, I learned, like, the display name. I made it so that there were capitals. But the name itself doesn't have capitals? I don't know. But yes, it's all just one long word. Because they didn't allow spaces. Or something like that. Pretty soon, I'm going to be everywhere. <laughs> Not really. I don't want to be everywhere. I want to be anywhere that it makes sense for me to be. That fit in the overall, like, my overall vibe, I guess. Yay, Kristen, you found me. Yay. Okay. I love it. We're using we're using YouTube to talk about Twitch. <laughs> hmm. So like is there a way for me to like actually See who's following me? It doesn't let me click like lame. Hmm. 
I don't even, I haven't written a blurb about myself. It says, tell the world a little about yourself. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, I will talk all day at the screen, but you want me to do what? Okay, I'm gonna set this down. I need this. I'm stitching. Oh, wait. Michelle wrote down her name. I'm gonna go find Michelle. That's what I'm doing. Michelle. Two S's. And then I promptly put in three S's. Wait, I'm not finding you, Michelle. Hi, Case. We're talking about Twitch again. <laughs> And how it's very hard to find people, apparently, through search. C-A-P-Y. See, I typed it in. It says, no results found, Michelle. I can't find you. Just like you guys can't find me. I wonder... When I found Z, I did it through a whisper. I wonder... I can find you through the... I can find you through the um, whisper thing. So that's one way. The search, searching for it though, didn't. Anyway. Okay. I'm clearly getting very far in my stitching today. I can stream Twitch and live at YouTube live at the same time. That sounds like a skill I don't have yet. <laughs> mm. The light's starting to hit my camera. Well, there's my shake. I finished it. I finished the shake. I like learning the new things. I did figure out some things with this um, software that I'm using, but not everything yet. <laughs> it's a learning curve, but it's fun. So here's, I mean, if everyone, if anyone has a topic you want to talk about, bring it up. Otherwise, 
I'm just gonna keep going on like this. Um, like my approach here is that um, I have not had a job wait let me not say it that way no I will I've not worked for like an employer since before my daughter was born and she's 13 now um, there was a time period when she was young that I uh, was part of an MLM but the company after I joined the company went in a different direction than I thought they were going in <laughs> and I parted ways um, happily I have never had to work and even even now like my separation and agreement provides for me so I don't have to work and I understand that this is a like a privileged position that I am able to have so because of that I have felt like I have the freedom to explore how I would want to like what is it that I want to put out in the world and I guess receive in, in the in the world um, like what do I want to put out and and how and so that's what I'm kind of doing a lot. Um, somebody, another floss tuber, <laughs> joked with me. Um, uh, okay, I, I see these questions. I'm going to get to them. I just want to finish this thought. Um, one, a floss tuber, there was like four of us chatting, and she said that she keeps telling her she she has a full-time job and she's like i keep telling my team that i'm gonna quit and just become a full-time stitcher and they just keep laughing at me and and the others are like oh like that would be so cool like if we could do that and i was like guys watch me like i'm going to do this like i'm gonna become a full-time stitcher i don't know like i don't have to do it for making money but i think that that allows me to like be really clear on what it is that I want to put out in the world and like make sure that that's the best without feeling the pressure of like I need to provide for groceries I need to provide for bills like and and so yeah that's that's kind of like I'm experimenting with this and experimenting like like what can I do like is twitch going to allow me to put out what I want to put out I think so like building this community giving places for people to like hang out and have community um, is good <laughs> I think it's something that's really needed and I'm happy to do it I may not always have answers there we go um, like, I don't consider myself an expert in any way. I just, I just think of myself as, like, providing space for people to gather. And I'd love to eventually be able to do that, like, in a physical way, too. Um, do I know if there's a directory of LNS? Mm, I don't know that there is one. Um, if you're part of any Facebook cross stitch groups you can ask there I'm trying to think do I know anyone in Illinois or you can just Google and uh, maybe call them up in advance to see if they're needlework or if they're cross stitch since sometimes cross stitching stores call themselves 
or needlepoint stores say we carry cross this stuff but they're not really but I don't know of a directory of one um, Michelle you were able to follow me going through the whisper thing I feel like maybe their search isn't really meant for you to find somebody specific but to help you find categorically so that's my thinking is that if you want to find an individual person you have to go through whispers that's good to know um hi tracy good morning i am doing well i've been waking up over the last how long has this been two hours and 17 minutes i am on 375 so i still have 200 more to go and i'm very focused as you can tell <laughs> Can you see my focus right now? How long has it been since I've put in a stitch? There, I'm stitching. <laughs> oh, here's another part to it. Is I'm building I'm building community, right? Like I'm building connections. That's what I'm doing. Um and it wasn't intentional until I realized that I was me trying to live authentically that that's what I was doing. Like, that's what I was loving about making floss tube videos and interacting with people on Instagram and stuff. And then going live, I realized that I really, really like going live. Um, I love the interaction that we get through this. Um, like, it gives me energy. Um, I love it so much. Um but there's another side part of building the community is also um like helping people if they also want to do something like not necessarily do what i do like you are your own person you should do your thing but i think that there's other people who also are wanting to like share what it is that they're doing and it's, we don't i think there's a lot of ways in which we can do that <laughs> i hope that i hope that makes sense um like i'm doing my thing and i want other people to feel comfortable coming like opening a conversation with me saying like how is it that you're doing that and can you like help me do it too. I want to be able to be that kind of a resource for people too. Which is why I'm always open to questions of any kind or conversations like like I don't there's no trade secrets here <laughs> at all. <laughs> I don't know trade secrets. Are you talking about the, um, this, this is a kitty. Oh, no, no, no. This is the kitty. And do you see this kitty, Tracy? This is a kitty. It's like one ear and the other ear. And it's like little nose right here. It's so cute and little. Um, what stitch am I on? Right here. We will finish this. My laptop's fan just kicked on. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's... If you hear some soothing white noise right now, that's what it is. It's my laptop fan. Saying that I've been running it for a while now. Show me how big your brave is. Say what you want to say and let the world spill out honestly.
Maybe consider a stitch night through Google Meet or Zoom. I've considered that. Um, dealing with like the unlimited aspect with it is what I haven't wanted to do yet though. Although I've heard that Facebook rooms, I've not ever used a Facebook room. But I hear that you don't have to be on Facebook. You just have to have the link in order to join into a room. And then that's pretty unlimited, it feels like. You, I think your community is enjoying growing with you as you grow in your personal mission. <laughs> that's very sweet, Tracy. Um, because I think that... I think at the core of everything is that as I've been like healing and growing and learning like I want people to feel like they can do it too like it's possible for you like whatever it is like you can grow you can learn you can heal you can you can do big things whatever your big thing is and yeah, I like that. This one, it's hard to see it as a cat, so there's that. <laughs> All right, you're stitching now. You're at 12%. You've done 0.0% .0 stitches today. <laughs> You'll get some stitches in, and then, and then it'll be more. I actually think that there is some of this chair that sits on this side of the ladder. But I just decided that this ladder was going to be like the thing that was going to mark the edge of the section. It made sense in my brain. Oh, this is a ninja stitch. That's bad. But I reached 400, 413 stitches. Oh, I just pulled my thread complete through. Me what you wanna say. One thing I have figured out is that when I when I walk my puppies, I don't put anything in my ears. Like I don't turn on an audiobook, no music, and nobody's walking with me, it's just me and my dogs. However, dog anyway. Um and I find that I get a lot of, like, ideas during that time. Like, I think about how I can improve something or some solution comes to me. And now that I'm walking them a lot more... 
it means I get a lot of time for ideas. My ideal, my favorite floss length is shorter than this, actually. Where's my, here we go. Um, I don't even know how long this is, but that's doubled over. But if I were to cut this in half, I don't mind this length. I would kind of like it somewhere in between. I want to buy a floss, what are they called, floss winders. Um, it's like a, you, you have to choose what length you want it in and then you put your skein around and around and then there's a place for you to like cut. <laughs> and so if I figure out my favorite floss length, I want to get one of the floss winders that would work for that. So that doesn't really answer your question. Mostly because I don't know it. I do find that shorter lengths are nicer because then I can, like, I change color so often it seems. Good morning, Joyce. Um, yeah, so I find that the shorter floss lengths, especially when you have ninja stitches, I don't know, it, it, I think I like them better. Not that I dislike the length that this is right now. It's not too bad. It's just that if I were only, if I have a fresh strand with the loop start and then I only stitch like two stitches, it's kind of annoying to then have a used floss that's like so long. For lunch, which I'm already thinking about because I haven't had solid food yet today, um, I have an avocado. So I'm going to cut up the avocado. And then I have, um, like, I don't know if they're, they're either cherry or grape tomatoes, but little, little tomatoes that I'll cut in half. And, um, and then I have bacon. I should probably, I have shrimp, I should probably do it. Anyway, I mix it all together and like put some salt and lemon juice in it and eat it with a spoon. Like it is delicious and I love eating it in the summer, but I was just kind of craving it this week. So I'm going to do that before the avocado goes bad. You're going to find a floss winder too. I, it's, it's in my notebook. I just, to buy a floss winder, I think I wrote it down two days ago. <laughs> Not to do that day, but to remind myself that I wanted to do it. It's cold in St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis, Louis. Meet me at the fair. Don't tell me the lights are shining anywhere but there. I have not seen any snow here in my part of Virginia. And I don't really expect to, but... I do think, Tracy, that 
I will probably go with the floss length that will work with my floss storage. So I use Annie Keepers and the bin that they're in is that size. But this length is too long for, like, it It pulls at the bottom like this, and it's kind of obnoxious. So I've been, um, I don't, here's a good example. See that yellow? It's shorter. I've been cutting them down even more. And that seems to be a better length. For the height of my bin, my floss bin. I will probably go with that length for a floss winder. I just don't know what that is yet. I have a ruler somewhere, but not in sight. The, all of this right here is the same color, so that should be quick stitching. If I actually stitch instead of like talk endlessly to you guys. I love the chatting aspect. <laughs> but this is why I don't go live during the week a whole lot. It's like Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> it's because, like, my time is just much more limited Monday through Thursday. <laughs> and so it's like, I don't, I don't have that long to do all the stitching. Like, so do I stitch or do I talk? I do both. <laughs> Does, um, you know, I'm going to look into three length. Oh, for the floss winders. Well, hopefully one of those is going to work for me. Hi, Jelena. Hello. I haven't even done research on the floss winders at all. All I know is that I want one. <laughs> um, because sometimes I don't have, um, sometimes I'm not doing it from like a full skein of floss. And, and so then I don't know how to make it kind of more uniform. And so, I got lots of messages coming in my phone. I just want to make sure it's not like my daughter freaking out or something. Uh, the teapot, isn't it beautiful? I, I think these bubbles are coming from the teapot because because it like goes up through here and then you can't you can't see it, but it there's, there's a bubble up here and then up. So I think I'm done stitching bubbles. Like I'm a little sad about that, but it's fun that it's coming from somewhere. Hi, Celia. How are you today? You told him to look for a job in Virginia and he said no. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I've, um, Texas and North Carolina are two places that I would seriously look at living in. Um, because Texas has really good, um, it's good for homeschooling and for, 
like small businesses. And I really like North Carolina for its, um, like you can get beach and mountain both for a day trip and you get slightly warmer weather all the time than you do here. Like Virginia is pretty mild, at least my part of Virginia. Like we're, we are pretty mild. I am still sitting here and my hands are freezing. Um, they've always been like that. Like they don't, they don't, I, it's winter season. It's just cold. Hi, Catherine. Welcome back for another round of semi-stitching with Suki. Um, <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Like, it's like, come on, Suki, stitch. We're good. We're good. I'm trying to think of, I, I'm pretty certain that um, the longer this length is three times, does this look like the length of three times? I think that this is folding over a full skein three times, and this is more like four times. Um, it's just that I like, I've got some, if I'm working from full skeins, it's great, but sometimes I'm finding myself with like, um, partial skeins for whatever reason. I have several of those and then I kind of want them to be more uniform, but it's not. Eventually they would be, I suppose. Texas is fantastic for homeschooling. Um, their their low rapport in the community is is great. That looks like one meter. My estimation skills are not great. So I don't know. Each skein is eight meters. I'm just trying to think of like when I'm folding them over, like how many times am I doing that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's been too long since I've done it. I can't keep that in my brain too well. Is, um, the Ikea, is that Ikea box about this size? This one is one I just got at like, um, where did I get it from? Target, I think. Hi Nell, how are you today? We should do a 24 hour cross stitch challenge. Do you mean like an actual 24, like don't sleep 24 hours? Because I like doing 24 hours over the weekend, but not in a day. Um, a whisper is kind of like a direct message on Twitch. It's what Twitch calls their direct messages. Tracy, 9, 12, and 18. Well, now you want, I'm going to figure out where my ruler is. Oh, that's my short ruler. in the other part of the room.
Okay, so, um, YouTube doesn't have private messages, and Twitch's private messages are called whispers. Instagram's private messages, I don't know, we always say DM, direct message, personal message, I don't know. Okay, now that I have this ruler, okay, these are all folded in half, so, twelve for six is eighteen. So this is 18, but doubled, which is really, really long. So that's probably why I like them shorter. This says it's eight inches. So from end to end, it would be 16 inches. Yes. So the floss winder sizes, Tracy, are they, is that nine inches that is the length of the winder or the length of the threads once you cut it? <laughs> I'm like having you do all the research for me. <laughs> I'm just using your knowledge right now. Um, <laughs> 18 inches is 45 centimeters, approximately the same size you're cutting. Okay, so that's, that would be the, about the same size that I'm looking to do it. I just, mine are twice that, most of mine are cut twice that long and I'm finding that I don't love it quite that long. It would be an easy enough fix. All I have to do is like take it off, cut it, and put it back on, but I have a full set of DMC and I don't wanna take the time to do that right now. So I've been doing it like one, one of them every once in a while when I think about it. which is not often enough, obviously. All of that friction. nine inches will cut an 18 inch length of floss wow so do people stitch with what's 18 times 2 36 right <laughs> do people stitch with that long a floss 36 inches that's crazy that seems like really long even if you're doubling it over wouldn't your th thread start like fraying or tangling if it was that long
I'm sorry, you missed it. Right now we're talking about floss winders. My puppy's talking about how I should be out on a walk already. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's at the door whining but if I let her back in she's just gonna whine about how she wants to go out she doesn't really like being separated from me but she wants me to go with her rather than her sit in here with me You'll stitch with a 36 inch thread if it's on a... Oh! Hey, that's a good point, Catherine. I don't stitch on ones like 11 count very often. I don't... Or 14 count. So, that, that would use a lot of floss. So that makes a lot of sense. You've been stitching with 40 inches and was wondering why it was taking you so long to stitch. It's like where you're like, pull the thread out like this <laughs> every time you go up, <laughs> and then you have to pull it down. <laughs> also, when I'm, I, because I'm often like, I pick the first one in the, the diagonal and I stitch it out. Having the shorter length of floss gives me more variety of color. <laughs> Christmas time. Why why is a Christmas song in my head? I find that um depending on my fabric Sometimes that's extra wear and tear on the floss. Like my daily 30 piece, which is the A Dimensions Gold Collection kit. Like their fabric is stiffer. The kit fabric is stiffer. But they're like, use five strands tent stitch. Like, like you're it's hard to pull that through and it does fray more than like like quicker that's for certain then like this setup doesn't fray as much i need to write down what size looks like i want a nine inch floss winder where's my oh here it is Look, I, I wrote it down on the 2nd of the, whatever this is, 2nd of January. Buy floss winder. Nine inch for an 18 inch length. doesn't tangle much. It's, it doesn't. Have you guys stitched with silk ever? 
silk glides beautifully. I love the feel of stitching with silk. Okay. All of that and that. are cold. Never no silks for Joyce. They just feel so lovely. Gliding through the fabric. One of my Whipco pieces right now is stitched with silk. It's um, right here. This one. It's beautiful. This, um, it's like a super subtle variegated gray. Um, like it's so subtle you can't see it as much as other ones um I don't need to buy a floss winder but okay a book is smart I didn't think of using a book <laughs> that's the answer is I didn't think of buying a book I mean I'm buying a book using a book they have books. Clearly, I could do that. I <laughs> just legit didn't think about it. Um, I am not currently using a Lowry stand, but that's my Lowry stand. So, last night's live with my cue snaps was on a Lowry stand. This is um, Kay's Creations Stowaway Stand. Catherine with her logic, just use a book. Yes, just use a book. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right, love stitching with silk. If only you stitch with your hand. I did a opus and Villa Colleen piece with unspun silk. Interesting. Silk is more expensive. Um, I bought like a half hank for the gray that I showed you. I don't mind on my stitching using like specialties or over dyed hand, you know, it costs more than, you know, DMC or something, but they serve a different purpose to me. And I don't know, like I'm, I'm creating art like that's what I'm doing with my stitching is I'm creating art and so I don't mind having high quality um, supplies at times. I wouldn't want it all the time. But it gives like this beautiful sheen to it. But I also like, um, you know, like Weeks Dye Work, they have their variegated floss, it's cotton, um, and it's color fast. So that's always nice too. It's more expensive, but it's also not the same exact thing as, you know, DMC. 
Love your Lowry flippability. Yep. I really, really enjoy the Lowry. It was a good investment. And I like went with the cheapest, like stainless steel. I don't know. Whatever the base is, I didn't get any of the colored or anything when I got my Lowry. I didn't get the long arm, like I just got the basic. Um, because I wanted to decide how I used it and liked it before I did anything extra. That's what I was trying to remember, whether it was the stainless steel or the non-stainless. It's whichever one is cheaper, because one of those is cheaper than the other. And I got the cheaper one. You would think, it hasn't been that long since I bought it. You'd think I could remember, but I don't. <laughs> I just know that, um, like, I don't know, the color is just extra, but it's pretty. The corner clamp is definitely one that I'm considering getting. Because it works. The, it, like, this, this one, like the basic clamp, it works fine for the Q-snap, but, um... Like last night, I had put in my like 11 by 11 Q-snap in it, and it was kind of like going like this a little bit. And I wonder if the corner clamp would, you know, be fine. I want this color. find that I haven't needed the long arm the way where I sit especially now since I'm using this chair instead of a like bigger chair I don't need a long arm but the corner clamp and the desk clamp I'm interested in the desk clamp Oh, the white one's pretty. It's kind of it feels it feels kind of classic. Classic white. Oh, the other thing, Celia, is that it's my 11 by 11 is off-brand Q-snap, and so I think part of the turning is like the joint uh, in, instead of the um, 
I don't know what I'm saying right now. The way it's an off-brand Q snap, and so I think the way that it all fits together, I think that's actually what it is rather than the stand, but I'm not positive unless I try it. You'd also like the like the desk clamp. I feel like that would be easier to travel to retreats with. I took my Lowry to my first retreat, which was fine. Um, but I was driving. Oh, wait. I don't want to do that yet. And if I were to ever fly, I feel like the desk clamp would fit in some luggage a little bit easier. Be he less heavy, but still give me that function. so close i'm at the point where it's just bringing down the ladder it's so close the next section is going to be the girl who i think her dress comes down to like here-ish and then it's the ladder and I don't know whatever books are behind it yeah I think the Lowry is just it's it's high quality that's for certain I'd rather have something high quality that's gonna last a long time Then um, something that's going to wear out really fast, but is cheaper. Oh, Silver Bells is still in my head. Big Christmas time in the city. Christmas Day. My next holiday is Chinese New Year. I think. Do I know how long they've been marketed? I don't. I wonder if the website says. Um... It's 48 degrees now outside. When I started, it was 30 degrees, and now it's 48. So going on a walk at this point will be much happier. I 
I know, so close. So close. Now if my like internet holds true to what it's done, it will cut out here very soon. <laughs> now that I'm right at the edge <laughs> of finishing, <laughs> it'll be like, and we're done now. Actually, it's, it hasn't done it that often. In the whole grand scheme of my live streaming experience, it's only done it a few times. A heat wave. <laughs> It's been in like the 60s though. It's gotten to 70s a couple days even. And so getting to like down into the 40s instead, it's a little hard. You're welcome, Catherine. <laughs> I don't know why it's stuck in my head. Something else was in my head earlier, but now it's this one. I had a Jason Mraz song stuck in my head earlier. No, I don't want that. Thank you. But um, I switched all of those. And that. I would happily sing another song if somebody would suggest another one. But I have to know it, so this could not work out very well for us. It's so close. Look at this. So close. Um, 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 um. When you guys go and fly on an airplane, how much time do you allow for going through security checkpoints? I feel like you never know how long you're going to take at the security checkpoint. So sometimes you're at your gate very early, or you're barely making it there on time. Bye, Michelle. Thanks for hanging out. Have a wonderful Saturday. It would definitely feel like a heat wave after getting below zero. I have not been below zero yet. Not even my lows. My lows have not gotten lower than the teens. But I live further south than you do.
kind of blowing my mind that this is extending into the fourth bookshelf. Like, the next one is the fourth and the bottom bookshelf. It is gonna be incredible. Bye, Catherine. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good afternoon. My puppy wants me to be done. She really does. She's being so basic. Being in the center, you know, I never know what's coming. I like stitching it by shelf. It's, it gives me a really good, like, definite points of, like, done. Tracy, you always go two hours ahead of flight time. See, I grew up going two hours ahead of flight time. So, like, that's what I'm used to. But more and more people now are, like, one hour or maybe 30 minutes before, and that just feels stressful to me. Like, what if that security line is so long or there's a delay? Like, <laughs> I would not want to miss my flight because I didn't want to wait. And I always have a book and stitching with me so it's not like I don't have anything to do sometimes um, if my daughter's with me we will do um, like dancing things more like trick things where you're in like handstand type stuff or arm balances that kind of a thing so that we get some like physical movement in an otherwise very sedentary day I think the last time we flew together, we were doing freeze holds. Those, those were fun. So long as we made sure that we weren't going to kick anybody. I I am. Um, I'm, I'm going to a conference summit thing. I think it's called a summit. It's essentially a, a conference. Um, not next weekend, but the weekend after that. going to New Mexico. Where it's not going to be warm, it's going to be in the 40s. The wood is incredibly lifelike. Agreed. just trying to stitch this thread out so I can go back and fill in these colors I'm definitely past 570 stitches, but I got to finish this seam out. I'm not stopping. Looks like it's just one more color. That's not my needle. 814. 
that. I'm going to stitch that. The last time you went, the gate attendant saw you and asked. You were the last one to load and you were 25 minutes early. Wow. I would always rather be early than late. On time for me is early. Otherwise I feel stressed. And it's like an avoidable stress, you know? Like you can actually do something to not feel stressed at that moment. And I never have direct flights anywhere. From Richmond, everything is a connecting flight. <laughs> so I have to deal with layovers. And I don't like short layovers either for the same reason, because if your first plane gets delayed, then you are definitely not going to get on that second plane. And if the airport's big enough and you have to travel far, Like, I don't like three-hour layovers either, but I'd rather that than a 20-minute layover. Either way, flying is still usually faster than driving, so... Well, I mean, I guess it's, I'm going across the country. <laughs> In this case, going to New Mexico, yes, it's going to be faster. If we had a decent train system, I would take the train sometimes. Maybe not like across the country, but I enjoyed taking the train when I was in England. What do I consider a good percentage on a project for full coverage? Whatever it happens to be at. Um, I think it depends on the project, honestly, because I don't know. I just don't focus on the percentage so much. Um, like getting 1% on this project is over 7,000 stitches, but 1% any on any other project is a lot less than that. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a good answer for you. I don't, I don't have like a, this is a good percentage. I feel like every project has its own trajectory. So any percentage is good. Like, is it more than when you started? You're doing great. Seven twenty five by five eighteen. That's a decent size. That's a decent size. I um this is the only full coverage project that I have a regular stitch goal on. My other ones are just on a rotation. So like I have Queen of the Night and I'm stitching on that one until it's at a certain percentage. Um, but I don't have like a time frame in which to do that in. Um, the blade has to be small, like three inches or less, I think, and that's the blade part. So these scissors are safe, but normally I travel with, um, it's not up here. 
I have a pair of scissors that hinge right here, and so the it fold the um, handles fold over this tip, but they're about the same size anyway. Yes, just like what Tracy said, every stitch counts. I think the percentage is good to just kind of mentally tell ourselves like we've made progress. <laughs> Celia with her 26 current 26 I have seven I have seven full coverage pieces eight if you count woodland enchantress which I never think of but Technically, I suppose it is. I've never had a problem with my scissors. Um, but yeah, I do take the little ones, which is all I use for cross stitching anyway. In a pinch, you could take nail clippers, cut your threads that way. All right, look at that. Oh, there's one stitch that I missed. What? What even color is this? It's marked off on my pattern, but it's not stitched. I'm not done yet. I have one stitch left to go. I thought I was going to be done, but no. I missed one. Late enough that the sun is right here. Okay, here is the last stitch of the seam. Look at it. Look at the kitty cat, he's so cute. And this kitty cat, this is a shoe and the yellow rose with its greenery. That is what this is, it's not a bird. A lot of people thought it was a bird. And I was like, I have no idea what it is, but I did look at the artwork. It's a flower. Look at that, it looks so good. I love finishing a section. Like, I always feel like really emotional because it feels like a finish. It really does. Uh, like, it, it feels like a finish and then like I get to start on the next section and I'm like ooh it's a start like oh. <sighs> oh girl I am definitely like 
say I'm saving for a frame and museum quality glass because I don't want to glare. Oh, there's a blue jay outside. I can hear it. Um, I'm about to buy more scissors because I have two and I need two more would be ideal. I don't want one in every project bag, but I like them in each location in which I stitch. I also need more of these like needle minder threaders because I keep putting this, taking this everywhere with me and I need, I just need more of it. Um, okay, so that was 661 stitches to finish that off. I'm so excited. I need to take my picture. Let's see. Maybe like this. That looks so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. Ah. Which one? You mean which project? Or which um, part in this project? In this project, I will just move on to the next scene. It's the girl's dress and the ladder, so it'll be probably, you can't even see because this picture's in the way. Um, but it's gonna be about that long. Um, right now I'm gonna log off I'm gonna go walk my dog. I'm going to, I need to put in all like my information, my stitch pal and everything. I'm gonna walk my dog. I'm gonna get my outside hours. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna eat. And then I think I'll live stream starting my new project on Twitch so I can experience that and it's got this beautiful fabric you can't see it's all this fabric it's beautiful and it looks like that that's the piece I'm starting today it's just a cute little guy and the fabric is gorgeous and I'm excited for it Sweet snips from the fat quarter shop. I haven't decided where I'm gonna buy it. I'm think I'm glad you enjoy them. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people who just like lurk and don't say anything, which is always completely fine like you're here for whatever comes forth out of my mouth the fabric is sparkly and um, it was hand dyed specific for this project by um, Kaylee look at that like isn't it gonna look so good on here? But look how little it is, it's not very big. I'm so excited for this project to get it started. Um, yeah. So. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Um, I will. I don't know when I'll be on Twitch, so those of you who be around there, It'll just be later. That's all I can say. Um, probably good like four hours from now. So it'll be a while. But you don't have to go over there. That is totally fine. I don't have any expectations whatsoever. I just, I want to experience what it's like to like go up. Um, it's the brown eyed stitcher. Um, I, I try to be consistent. So the brown eyed stitcher um if you go through the whispers on twitch you can more easily find me that way unless i'm already live 
that's what it seems to be the case anyway. I just need to learn a lot more about it. There's a lot that I don't understand about Twitch right now, and so this is me just throwing myself into the deep end and doing it. So, <laughs> thank you all for joining me. Much love. Have a good afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is for you at this time. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.